learning new things every day and expected contact range in even the worst of the Eagle radars is pretty darn nice. So doing that work on the uh, top half of the scope is pretty easy, but that's so what I got. You're on mech scan in the FTU, right? Yep. Yeah. You'll do, there are a couple V3s. So the AESA radars, which are like the real fancy new ones. Uh, but most of what we live fly is uh mech scan, like what's called the V0. I only did WIC support for one uh, Eagle TI sortie, which was the most excruciating experience of my life. The debrief with like every minute, you know, like we, you have to go capture where you are in space, what you're doing so that you can come back. And while the digital footprint and technology exists to like get through this in about five minutes, like, no, 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 we're going to take an hour and a half to go through and ask every single person at every single minute where they are. And if, the chalk drawing is as depicted. But I remember that one we did, it was Sort North. He was, he wasn't a brand new wingman, right? But he was, I don't know, maybe six months out of like MQT and he had a 188 pod on his jet and he was like the low dude. And Eagles just straight bonsai, like wall of eight ship and Sort just wrecked house. Like he killed like three of them. It's like, this shouldn't happen, but Sort. The hero he was still is <laughs> good for him yeah just destroyed those eagles but they made it even better for the debrief jammers are you know it's i mean you can ask a, an electrical engineer which i am definitely not but jammers you know they've got they've got a pretty sweet job you know they can just go out and just be like i'm just gonna ruin the lives <laughs> of some radars out there and turns out it works pretty darn well you know yeah i mean it's nice when your sole existence in life for that sortie was just to go wreck house and you didn't really have to worry about anything else just to make their life miserable and he did so i'm sure that wug the weapon school upgrade spent the next 18 hours of his life going through <laughs> that debrief of what happened and then probably got to see it again so that sounds great i don't know yeah he's better for it i'm sure yeah. i was really <laughs> i was really impressed with the uh the super hornet their radar because we would in Misawa we would integrate with the uh, Growlers, which is the same radar. Um, but then also talking to Super Hornets, I was at uh, McIntyre doing uh, kind of red air swaps for Growlers or not Growlers, but F, uh, Super Hornets. And uh, we had a jamming pod, I think, on one of the jets as we were red air for this Super Hornet guy who is a backseat Super Hornet dude getting his flight lead upgrade, um, and he is in the debrief. And uh, he's like, uh, did you know? Did you guys have any jamming? And I think we were like, yeah. And he's like, and looks at his IP and he's like, what does jamming look like? Uh, because <laughs> apparently the radar just like works through jamming. Like he'd never experienced jamming. He just like sees everything with this radar. And I assume that's how the 35 is. Bender, have you ever seen like jamming where you're like, oh, like that's, that's challenging. Uh -huh uh only from other f-35s yeah so we can oh, okay. we kind of wreck shop <laughs> on each other which is kind yeah of fun. well I, get, I mean that makes sense the f-16 is super good at that too co-channel interference will get you yeah you know who doesn't yeah. have to worry about jamming satan right satan. Here. exactly <laughs> Wait, you guys way at least easier. Can jam right do you guys carry one way four easier five? yeah we do um yeah yeah the if you don't have a radar to jam man it's no big deal. You can't jam the paper map that I'm navigating on, dude. It's pretty great. It's easy. Just plug outside. Piece of cake. They'll get lasers and melt the uh the like the wax pens and stuff. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh yeah. 